Hello everybody and welcome to Halls of Torment, a game that uh, I picked up during the, uh, the Steam Winter Sale. I've been playing it for a while, about, about two hours now, I think. Um, I've only unlocked five characters. There's a couple of other ones. Uh, you got the Swordsman, you got the, um, the Archer, the, the Wizard, or well, the Cleric. Uh, I'm the Shaman currently. We're going to be the Exterminator. I, you know, uh, the Flamecaster. Uh, oh, I or no, that's a weapon. Anyway, um, it's very much. Uh, if I had to describe it, I would say it's basically uh, Vampire Survivors meets Diablo. Um, and as you play, you unlock some new stuff. I got a whole bunch of money. Uh, attack speed, I think, is super important. Defense. Oh yeah, let's give me my L3 Gen at all times. Uh, I like that idea. Q. Anyway, um, so there's this thing, the, the request, which is pretty cool. So this this is going to be more of like a uh, a review so far. Um, I like that we have a lot of kind of quests that you um, that you have that kind of encourage you to do certain things. Um, you got different milestones. All these things will kind of give you a whole bunch of cool little um, things to experience. And as you play, you unlock new lo new new levels. We've got the haunted caverns, which I've already done. I've only done three. I'm gonna do the forgotten viaduct. I personally feel that the the enemies, for the most part, not the enemies, but I personally feel as though the characters, for the most part, of what I've played, they all feel kind of relatively similar in nature. There are some things that obviously set them a little bit apart. Um, it would appear that in some cases it might just make more sense to um, um, you know, kind of play through some of the early levels until you um, have kind of really increased some of your abilities to the point where you actually hopefully do a little bit more damage. Um, Definitely off to a rough start with this guy. But it's the same traditional sort of thing that you would expect with a game like this. You choose a character, you go into the game world, you collect items which give you, you know, additional attacks or increase your stats. You play for 30 minutes, uh, or as long as you can, to, you know, to complete the round. As you play, you collect gold, which you can take back and you can then use to buy things. Um, there's a ton of achievements, things like 254. Um, there's just a lot. There's a lot that you can actually get out of it. Um, I don't have anything negative to say about it. I've really been enjoying it uh, thus far. Um, I will say, I guess I can say I'm, I'm not a big fan of this character so far because he just doesn't seem to be doing too well with his attacks. So I may just die and go try one of the other ones. Because uh, he can't kill crap. Like, this guy sucks. I'll just die. No real penalty for death, so it's not a big deal. Let's try the exterminator. And I guess I'm going to try a different... I'm just going to go back to the... Back to the haunted caverns, because apparently the other level is too hard for me right now. Anyway, though, um, my favorite character is obviously the wizard. Um, outside of the wizard, I'm actually quite a big fan of uh, the um, the cleric. The cleric is also really good. He starts off kind of slow, um, but as his attacks get better and better, it just becomes a much easier experience and just overall uh, better in all the ways it could be better. But yeah, I mean, I'm not going to make this a long video. This is going to be pretty short, about eight minutes or so. Um, like I said, I've only played it for two hours. There's obviously many, many, many more hours of content behind that. Um, so I could easily play this probably for quite some time. 
uh, it would be a great game to play uh, on my Steam Deck or, you know, in the 30 minute in intervals of like cooking something for dinner. Um, outside of that, it does suffer from the same kind of problem that you have with games like this and uh, realistically every every level starts to tend to feel the same kind of experience so you're just kind of doing the same thing every time and, and eventually you, you kind of want to do something else uh, you want a little bit more narrative or pro uh, progression and I think the game tries to handle that pretty good um, with having the characters that you can find in some of the runs and certain levels um, and introducing new enemies and new characters to play as, but ultimately it still does, like I said, it still suffers from the same sort of thing that all of these mobile tower defense simulator games where you are the tower uh, suffer from. And that is just uh, a lack of variety. The gameplay loop is fun, but it is redundant. It is the same thing that you are going to do time and time again. And it can be difficult to um, want to stick with this for, you know, any long period of time. And I feel it's best suited for probably, you know, 30 minute play sessions, go do something else and maybe come back and play it later. I do imagine that if I was like on a train ride somewhere, I would probably very easily enjoy playing this for the duration on my Steam Deck. Um, but outside of that, um, I do prefer something that has more of a narrative, more of a story, um, something that makes it feel more like progression as opposed to something that I'm doing to simply kill time. Uh, because ultimately that's what it feels like. It feels like I'm just doing this to pass the time and I'm not really getting anything out of it outside of a little bit of enjoyment. Um, you know, I'm happy about the enjoyment, but again, there's not really anything that I would say particularly stands out about this if you you know if, if you've played any of the survivors like games for you know vampire survivors like mobile tower you know whatever they are um you're probably gonna feel pretty at home with this because it feels very similar to like i said like every other title um and it's hard for me to pinpoint exactly what it does differently from everything else I guess the only thing it would be probably the quickness in which you unlock um, the quickness in which you unlock new characters to play as. I, I would say that's probably pretty nice. It feels uh, maybe a tiny bit unique uh, in that aspect and everything. So I mean, like overall, like I do like the game. Like it's not a complaint saying that I don't like it. I definitely like it. I definitely think it is very worth the price. Um, I think it had like a very small discount on Steam for the, the winter sale. And I would say I've got my money worth and I'm gonna keep getting it. I'm gonna keep playing it. You know, it's gonna be like uh, just a little bit here and there. Like I said, it's more gonna be a game I play during breaks. Uh, but I quite like it. I, I really recommend this to anybody who's a, fi a fan of the genre. And... Um, yeah, that's all I got. Like, it's, it's, I definitely recommend it. Think of this more as a general first impression sort of review, uh, because two hours really doesn't scratch a lot of the surface uh, of what the game eventually is going to offer me.